Hello, hello, and welcome to Skillful Heart. So today I am creating like a jumbo size chocolate bar wreath. And I was inspired to do this just because it um, Valentine's Day is around the corner and who doesn't love chocolate? So initially with this project, I planned on creating this chocolate bar with plywood. And so I went to Home Depot and I found the perfect size plywood. It was like six or eight dollars. And I tried to get them to cut it down to the size that I was desiring. And unfortunately they could not do those really um, sharp cuts and stuff um, on the bar where it looks at somebody ate it or bit a piece of it. So they couldn't do that. So what I recommend is um, if you guys plan on trying out this DIY project, um, get the plywood, right? You know, if you have a saw and you can cut it down to the size that you would like, work with that. I had to improvise and I bought a few canvas um, like the 8 by 10 canvas boards from the Dollar Tree. Um, so you can improvise like me, but I think it's a lot easier if you are able to get that plywood. So here comes major improvising. <laughs> so taping these little canvas boards together, I mean, it worked out for me, but sometimes I felt like they were kind of still floppy, so I like went really hard with this tape. So I added several strips of tape, um, several along the center, and then I would do a few to the left of the center and to the right just to add more stability. So now those two boards are firmly together. I am now going in and drawing a line and this line right here will be the wrapper where the wrapper is torn, okay? And today I am using Anita's and also Apple Barrel's acrylic paints. And you can find uh, more information about those paints in the description. By the way, for the actual color for the chocolate of the chocolate bar, I did some mixing, right? Um, so you'll see that a little bit later on in the video, but this color right here that I am painting is mixed. There was a particular brown that I wanted and the um, Hobby Lobby did not have it. So um, I got two browns and put them together and made it work. So now I am getting ready to go in with Anita's Earth Brown um, and this will be the wrapper for my Hershey's bar.
And you guys, in order to get really good coverage, I painted this three times. So there are three coats. And you especially want to get a really, really good painting around that area where that tape is at because we don't want to see the tape. Unless you use wood, then you don't have to worry about the tape. But if you do it the way I did it, you want to make sure that you get that well covered. So now I am going in um, with some more Anita's and then my Apple Barrel Gray and I am getting ready. I'm mixing those colors up and I'm getting ready to detail that wrapper. So this is kind of the, the very end of the wrapper where it's torn. So it kind of has a grayish whitish look. Um, a little later in the video I'll go in with some white detailing. like the thing that really brought this project out was the detail so be as detailed as possible so here I attempted as you guys know like in a chocolate bar there's like little squares or rectangles of chocolate so I attempted to do that here I didn't really like the way that they came out but you know I just tried to make it look as realistic as possible so maybe when you guys do it it'll come out a little better than mine <laughs> um, but you get the deal you get what I was trying to do <laughs> And y'all, this was probably the most tedious part for me. Um, so I am not a painter whatsoever. I'm a lot better just with drawing with a pencil and pen or something like that versus an actual paintbrush. I feel like paintbrush takes a very steady hand, um, stable hand, and I'm a little wiggly and wobbly. <laughs> so, um, so what you're gonna see is I am freestyling, freehanding, the letters on this Hershey bar and so if you think about the illusion of a Hershey's bar when you tear it open you know some of the letters are cut off so on this actual bar there is um, a little bit of the H E Y the apostrophe and the S um, and so all these letters are freehanded no stencils and you'll see how I clean it up a little later I kind of go in with the background color that earth brown and I clean up around the edges okay um, so if you're like me, you're not that great with a paintbrush, I promise you, you can make it work. The f but the main thing is you have to get it painted on the board first, and then you kind of go in and clean it up towards the end.
so now that the actual candy bar is complete I am now going in and adding some decorations or embellishments to kind of just bring out that Valentine's look and so on smaller pieces of canvas boards um, which are also from the Dollar Tree I am adding hearts and so I have a large one a medium and small size and so I will be cutting these out um, with my I don't even know what this little tool is called I'll look it up and put it in the description um, but I found it at the dollar store in the craft aisle and the Dollar Tree and um, it was it worked really nice it's almost like a box cutter but it's not it's for crafting and it comes with different um, razors to use so that's what I'm doing to get these out and then I will follow up with some painting and detailing and I'll get these glue gunned um, onto the Hershey's bar Something else that I also recommend you do is seal in your acrylic paint. Um, no matter what type of surface you're working on, um, get you some Mod Podge or some type of sealer. Um, so sometimes I use like acrylic sealing spray, which comes like in a can, um, or my handy dandy Mod Podge. Mod Podge is sticky and can get everywhere. And I believe this bottle may have been a little old because it kept having like little crusty pieces inside of the bottle so you see me kind of like pushing that off yeah you don't want that because Mod Podge seals and dries in um, your work and so those little pieces will dry in as well so get you a good brand new bottle of Mod Podge um, and you should be okay so here I'm just sealing in my candy bar and also the hearts and I did two coats of this adding um, a bit more streamer just because I felt like it was kind of flat and needed a little bit more life to it some textures some curls some something to make it pop so this is my pop element <laughs> um, and so I am just um, gathering that curled streamer together and hot gluing it to the back Alright 
I would say this is the final look, but it's not quite. I realize that I forgot an important element. Um, but you can stop it here if you like to. I think it looks really cute. It looks like a real candy bar. Super cute. Um, and so this is the extra part I decided to add. Um, so as you guys know, like a candy bar has that, that ruffly type in on both ends. And so I figured I would take me some felt paper and make that zigzag look and hot glue it to the end. Um, so I just believe this project is all about the detail, you know, trying to make it resemble the real thing as much as possible. So now we are down to the real final, final um, look. And I think it's so cute, this little chocolate bar. <laughs> um, if you guys like what you saw, try this DIY out for yourself, okay? Let me know how it goes. Um, thanks for tuning in to Skillful Heart. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a blessed day.